So today's story is the crucifixion before the victory. Everyone knows what the victory is, right? Jesus resurrected. Okay. So the soldiers took Jesus into the palace of Pilate. And they gathered other soldiers around him and they stripped him and put a purple robe on him. When they had twisted a crown of thorns, they put it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And they bowed the knee before him and mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Then they spat on him and took the reed and struck him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they took the robe off him and put his own clothes on him and led him away to be crucified. And when they had come to the place called Calvary, there they crucified him. With him, they also crucified two robbers, one on his right and the other on his left. So the scripture was fulfilled, which says, and he was numbered with the transgressors, people who break the law. And those who passed by blasphemed him. Likewise, the chief priests mocking with the scribes and elders said, he saved others. Himself he cannot save. Hmm. If he is the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and then we will believe in him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he will have him. For he said, I am the son of God. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. Then one of the criminals who were hanged on the cross next to him blasphemed him, saying, If you are the Christ, save yourself and us. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Do you not even fear God, seeing you are under the same condemnation? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus said to him, Assuredly, I say to you today, you will be with me in paradise. Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother, and the disciple whom Jesus loved, standing by, Mary dropped to her knees, and Jesus said to his mother, The woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her into his own home. Amen. Jesus cared for his mother even from the cross. Now from the sixth hour until the ninth hour, there was darkness over all the land. There was an eclipse. The sun turned black. And about the ninth hour, Jesus cried out with a loud voice saying, Eli, Eli. Lama sabatani, that is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And Jesus cried out again, and the earth quaked. And with a loud voice, he said, into your hands, I commit my spirit, and he yielded up his spirit. The earth quaked and the rocks were split. Then the veil of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. So when the centurion stood opposite him and saw the earthquake that had happened, 
and how Jesus cried out and breathed his last, he said, truly, this man was the son of God. It was the custom of the Romans to break the legs of those crucified ones who did not die. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. One of the soldiers pierced his side instead with a spear, and immediately blood and water came out. These things were done that the scripture should be fulfilled. It said, not one of his bones shall be broken. And another scripture says, they shall look on him whom they pierced. And Mary's heart broke when she realized her beloved son was dead. Truly, he died so that we may live. He suffered stripes that we may be healed. Next time, we will find out how Jesus came to life so that he now sits in heaven at the right hand of God on the throne of the universe. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for sending Jesus to the cross just so that we may be with him and the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit in heaven, the new heavens and the new earth. We pray someday we will see Jesus face to face. We thank you, God, for all those prophecies fulfilled so that we may know that Jesus is truly the Messiah and that we may believe, Lord, you are the teller of great things to come. You told that hundreds of years before Jesus came, you told the things that he would go through. And we read many of them. And when Jesus came, he fulfilled them all. Thank you, Lord. And we ask these things in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. To hear more of Sandra McTiernan's work or hear her tell Bible stories, please visit www.harkstories.com or go to Sandra McTiernan on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again.